welcome back to my channel and if you're new here hi my name is Ashley and in this channel I make lifestyle cleaning DIY and thrifting videos so for today's trash to treasure transformation I will be painting two side tables I got from my neighbor um, she found them on the curb and she gifted them to me so I'm really excited to paint them because I love those tables they look really pretty and I actually was looking for some side tables and she ended up giving those to me so um, I will be painting them though because I want them to match more my style and my decor and you if you guys know me you know that I'm about to paint them white because that's literally my favorite color to paint furniture or any kind of project besides my dining table uh, this one is gonna stay that way <laughs> but um, I'm painting the side tables so yeah I'll be showing you guys in a minute what the side tables look like and also the uh, ingredients <laughs> not the ingredients the materials <laughs> <laughs> so I'm going to show you guys the materials that I'm going to be using to complete this project. So without further ado, if you guys want to see this trash to treasure transformation, then go ahead and keep on watching. Okay guys, so the materials that I'm going to be using, some white paint. Um, this is by the brand Whitey Colors and I got this from Canes for those of you that live here in Okinawa. If I would be in the States, then my go-to chalk paint would be Waverly Chalk Paint in the color Ivory or Rust-Oleum's Chalk Paint in Linen White. I love those colors. They're very pretty um, colors to use to paint furniture but I'm gonna be using this and this is the paint that I use to paint my big Bassett vintage hutch um, and I really love that color and I love the way it looked so that is what I'm gonna be using for this table right here so this since this table has um, this table has like a uh, shiny coat on top of it. I'm gonna sand it down. The, I'm gonna sand down the top first, and then um, I will paint it. The bottom part doesn't need to be sanded, so I'm not gonna do that. So I'm just gonna do the top, and I'm also gonna be taking all the hardware off, which is just the little pull from the drawer that it has. So it has this little pull right here. I'm gonna take that off and then I'm gonna set it down outside really quick and then I'll be right back to start painting. So I already sat it down the top of the table. I used a 120 grit sanding paper and it's pretty rough already so that'll help my paint stick on top of the um, table and that way if we put drinks or anything on top of it, it's not gonna come off. The first coat is on already. I'm gonna let it dry completely until I go in with a second coat. And then after that, I'll see if I need to apply a third coat. And then once I'm done with that, I will do the very top part of the table. Um, I like to work upside down because it's faster and I find it easier um, to finish the project instead of doing the top, letting it dry and then turning it around and all that stuff. So that's a little trick or tip for you guys if you're doing a table or any type of project. 
uh, like something small, start up start off with the legs up and then once you're completely done with that you can go and then finish the top so i'm gonna let this dry and then i will be right back once i'm finished or once it's dry um a quick little tip for you guys um i always turn on my fans if i'm uh, painting inside the house i turn on my fan so my piece can dry faster but if i do that sometimes or most of the time my brush dries up and then the paint gets hard and then it's hard to paint over the furniture piece without getting any like harsh brush strokes so to do that or to prevent that i put my brush in a damp paper towel and then I just roll it up and then I put my brush inside and then I put it in a little Ziploc bag. And that way it keeps the brush soft and also hydrated so whenever you go back in with your second or third coat, it's not hard. taking a little coffee break um, I'm waiting for the paint to dry from the top of the table and I also wanted to show you guys the drawer what I'm gonna do with it all right so I have these two drawer pulls that I wanted um, I want to use on it so I want to replace the drawer pull that it came with I it wasn't really my style um, maybe I'll use it for something else I'm not gonna get rid of it but for but for the side table I am gonna replace them and I'm gonna be using these right here they look like this um, I got these from Kane's it's like a hardware store so I got these the only thing is that the holes that the drawer has already um, they're too far apart so I use some spackling and then I put it on where the holes were to cover them up and then I'm going to drill new holes to put this um, on it like this. So I'm letting that dry and then I'm going to sand it down and then go in with the last coat of the paint. And then I'm waiting for the table to dry and then I'll go in and distress it a little bit. These last two steps are crucial for me. I am going to distress it and then I'm gonna wax it. Uh, to start off, I'm using a 120 grit sanding paper and I'm just going to distress the edges of my piece. I'm not gonna go on top of it or anything like that um, because I just want it to look like a clean distressed look. And I'm distressing it because I know that my kids are not going to be careful and eventually paint is going to chip off. So if it does, it's not going to look like 
it did naturally you know what I mean then I'm gonna go in with some wax this is a white wax and even though I got these tables for free I do want to take care of them they're a very pretty uh, piece so I want to take care of them for as long as I can or until I find a piece that can replace this um, and like I said my kids are not gonna be careful with this so I want to wax it because I know that they will definitely get them dirty with their fingerprints or with something now the best part is decorating the table I couldn't figure out what I really wanted so you are gonna see me struggle and I left these clips um on the video purposely on purpose because I wanted you guys to see that it's not that simple um, as you see in my videos whenever I decorate I do change my mind a lot a lot and I wanted you guys to see how I struggled um, but basically for decorating I love using old pieces and old books that I find at the thrift store or at antique stores I love using greenery especially on white pieces like this one um, I feel like it just makes it pop even more but yeah you're definitely seeing me struggle here but at the end everything turns out very very pretty This basket, I didn't use it for the table specifically, but I ended up using it in another little table that I have besides our television. But I wanted to you guys to see how pretty it looked and it just looks really cute and I just love wire baskets. This is what I'm actually going to go for as far as decor for the table. I'm using this old um, iron ironstone pitcher. I think I got this at an antique store or the thrift store. I really don't remember. I'm pretty sure I have a video of it, like a thrift store um, video on it, like a haul kind of thing. But I went with a wicker basket. That is actually a purse, um, but I use it as decor. And then you can never go wrong with books. Like I said, I love decorating with books. So that's exactly what I'm doing here. These books, I most likely got them at the thrift store. And then add a little bit of lamb's ear inside my pitcher. And that's basically it. I really hope you guys enjoy this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope I gave you inspiration to redo a furniture piece that you have in your home. And I will see you guys in my next one.